What's up, NFX? Tech Manager, Ultimate Jordan, BlackSpot.com. With me, I got the Nexus 7 tablet. I'm be showing you how to unroot it slash unbrick it on a Windows computer. If you want to know how to do it on a Mac, you can look right there. Right there. <laughs> right there on how to actually do it for a Mac. Um, I'm just going to warn you that it will delete everything on your actual tablet. So make sure you back it up onto your computer or you back it up to a Google Cloud or any other cloud so that all your photos and uh, other documents or contacts are safe from um, getting mad at me and just safe from general. Anyway, so right away we're just going to plug in our phone via micro USB and the other side to the USB port of your computer. So once you get that done, we're going to be entering our uh, device into bootloader mode. So press the power button and the volume down. Power button and the volume down. Both at the same time, just keep holding until you see a green Android and a green start screen as well. So I'll give it a few seconds, it should be there, about five more seconds. Alright, and now you'll be on this green uh, start screen. As you can see right there, it does say locked, it might say unlocked or whatever, it doesn't really matter because it will restore your uh, device to complete stock and uh, Google won't even know that you even touched your device. So uh, it'll be 100% pure stock just like you bought it out from about um, when you bought it drugs from Google or from a store. So they won't know anything, you can just send it back or whatever you want with it. So right there as you can see on my desktop, I do have a zip file. What we're going to be doing with that zip file is just um, extracting it right now. So let's extract it, just right click on it and do extract all. And I'm going to extract the desktop and extract. So it is extracting. Alright, and then you got this folder right here. Let me just close it out so you get a better look at that. So it'll be folded on in another folder. Let me just put that folder out here. And yes, I'm going to replace it. So now we have this folder right here, and you got uh, all the files and everything that you need for the actual commands. So we're going to be putting that folder into our downloads folder of our computer. So just open up uh, your documents or your computer and click on downloads. So it should be right there. Click on downloads. Oh, downloads and actually transfer the folder not the zip file transfer the folder into your downloads folder so yes a folder inside a folder <laughs> alright so you got that folder inside of there uh, go back to your download oh, sorry about that go back to your downloads and open that folder up actually it'll, it'll be easy if we do it right away so go to your uh, nexus 7 unroot.unbrick folder and right there is you can see your USB driver. So first thing we'll be doing is installing the drivers for your actual uh, X7 device so we can actually uh, restore back to stock. So on your start screen, just search um, device manager. Device manager. Open that up. And there you should be able to see an Android. So right there as you can see I got Samsung Android phone. So you just can open that up. And you can go to this process and go to driver and update driver and uh, the USB driver right here. Just locate this driver and use this driver to update your um, current Nexus 7 driver. So that if you run into any problems, do this. So you can just try the process right after this. If you run into any problems, then do this process. And if you don't know how to update your drivers, you can just Google it, which is really simple. Just Google's your friend, guys. Just uh, You can Google a lot of questions, especially for Android. So Google is a good help. So once you get the uh, drivers installed, we're going to go to the command prompt. So just search command prompt. I need a start screen. Command prompt. Command prompt. There we go. And let me just move that so you get a better look at that. Alright. Okay, in uh, command prompt, we're going to type in CD downloads. Enter. And CD Nexus 7 unroot dot unbrick. Enter. And then here we're going to type in one command, fastboot, fastboot, flash, bootloader, and then boot. And when I said boot right here, you can just press tab after the first four characters of the file name, and it will automatically fill it in. So that's awesome, and just press enter. And now it's um, actually installing the new bootloader in there, the stack bootloader. So after this, we got about two more commands, and then we are done. So it's pretty basic, pretty simple. And it gives you the gratifications that you're actually typing in the commands and you're doing it yourself. You're in control. So that's a really nice feature. Alright, that is complete. As you can see, it gives you the options of where the file name was. After that, we're going to restart the bootloader. So fast boot, reboot, 
space dash bootloader a reboot dash bootloader enter and that's just being boot, re rebooting the bootloader and you're probably seeing on your uh, Nexus 7 that it, um, it went black and then went back to the green start screen so just rebooted it alright after that we're gonna install the big file now fast boot space dash w space update image and you can just press tab once again it will automatically fill it in and just press enter and now it's installing the new uh, actual files the stock files directly from Google Google servers so they won't even know that you rooted it or did anything to it if you're gonna be sending it back to the manufacturer so I'll be right back when this is done it will take about five minutes okay it finished up as you can see it's finished and we're gonna type in one last command is that and the last command we're gonna be doing is uh, locking the bootloader but as you can see on your Nexus 7 tablet it is booting up but we don't want it to boot up because um, uh, we want to lock the bootloader so you can send it back to your manufacturer now if you're not going to send it back to your manufacturer you just want to you just want to unroot it then you're fine you don't have to do this process but if you were going to um, it doesn't matter if your tablet's uh, starting up or anything just press the power button and the volume down once again and we're going to lock the bootloader so just keep holding it until you uh, see the actual green android and the green start screen Alright, the bin here, as you can see right there, get a better look on that, you can see it's unlocked, and we're going to lock that so uh, Google won't find out that you ever did anything to it. So on the actual uh, command prompt, we're going to type in dot slash, or not dot slash, flash OEM lock. Enter. There we go. So you can see it is working now, you got the little dots, and on the tablet you will say, locking now on the very top okay it's already done and now you can see it says locked so the focus and you can see it's locked right there so now your bootload is unlocked and now you can actually send it back to the manufacturer of google and they can't say anything they won't even know that you rooted it installed anything and that's how you unbreak your nexus 7 if you ever do and that's how you unroot it thanks for watching this video and let me just start it up so you can actually see it's unstacked so i'm just gonna press start on here and boot it up and it will boot up to the uh, very first, uh, the little start screen, and you have to set up your email and your Wi-Fi and all that. So I'll wait until that boots up. But um, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, for unrooting on Mac and Windows, RAM reviews on Clockwork Mod Recovery and all that. So this is a great channel for your Nexus 7 device. I'll be making a lot of videos for Nexus 7, so don't forget to subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, please don't forget to hit that rate button, as that does help me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll just wait till this boots up, and then we are done. And there you go, you're on the uh, very first uh, start screen, welcome, you can you have to set up your Wi-Fi and all that. So it's probably familiar with you guys, uh, thanks for watching guys, enjoy your unrooted, uh, unbricked Nexus 7 tablet. And if you have any questions, you can talk me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and email me, all links in the description below, and all downloads of the zip file in the description below as well. See you next video, enjoy your Nexus 7.